tried to do was to say, let's just write what we think students should know and understand. Uh, and let's put pressure on the system to adjust to a clear statement of standards. What I've heard from the comments, uh, I, I guess I just find myself surprised to be in this tradition. Um, to say, too mathematical, too high, and too many concepts. Well, I'm certainly quite sure that there are great double placements of individual standards that will change in response to feedback. And certainly, it's very useful. Um, the practical advice from the two teachers on, on some things that may have been placed too early. Uh, there is a there is a many more cycles of revision to go. So I'm grateful to you for giving us that advice on uh, on greater on placing things at too early a grade level. Um, so the the fact that the standards are when we heard today they're too high. Um, I, I, I take that seriously, I think seriously with the difficulty in my close pieces. Um, but I just should say that there is pressure for us, we are somehow being called upon, the job we've been given is to produce high standards. Uh, they're not too high by international uh, uh, comparison. Okay. In fact, we had a very close eye on um, various reports that have been issued on international standards of high achieving East Asian countries on curriculum focal points. The placement is a little bit more ambitious than curriculum, curriculum focal points in a couple of places, but basically it follows curriculum focal points. So I think overall the grade level placement is at a level that there's consensus both from international standards and from recent documents um, that that's, that's what the grade levels that we want to set. That's not to say that there won't be kids who are not going to get there, and obviously if a kid uh, doesn't achieve the level set in grade one, then they're behind um, all the way over. So I will not go on the process because we cannot do very much about the process and most people didn't see the standards, so I will not go there. But I will ask something that has been published three, four months ago. The career and college readiness standards, they have been out and they have been labeled college readiness standards. I went to the list of top 20 states by population in the public colleges I have a list in my hand, there are copies, copies if somebody wants. The overwhelming majority, over 40 of the major colleges, maybe a handful or not, require for admission Algebra 1, Algebra 2, and Geometry. The college readiness standard as published take out about half of what is considered typically Algebra 2 and about half of what is considered Geometry. There are no circles, there are no permutations, and many things are not there. So what do you expect to do? Do you expect all the colleges to adjust their admission requirement, basically lower their expectation, or there is some mislabeling of the standards? They are not college ready. I'm just a little bit about uh, that document that was published in the summer that Deb was referring to will be folded into the mind of the K-12 standards that we're producing now. Um, the level that was set by the document, I completely agree. It's not what we aspire to for our children. It's not what we as a nation want to set as the final limit, and I completely agree with that. We should go beyond that. We should expect our children... Is it college to ready? Go, not expectation. What is college that. ready? We should expect our children to go beyond that level. Um, and if the K-12 standards will go beyond the level set by the college and career ready document, um, it will include standards about permutations, for example, um, already done. It will include standards describing what kids need to know if they're going to go into STEM careers. So I completely agree. This is not a level that uh, that we should aspire to. Um, the, the level that was the, the level that was uh, set in the college and career document was not based on university admissions requirements, but based on data about what students actually do, what, how well they succeed um, if they know a certain level of mathematics. College admissions requirements, I completely agree, I'm not in sync with that. So I just want to say that I, 
I'm, I'm not going to defend that level as an aspirational level for our country, and it's not going to be uh, the um, extra requirement set by the national state.